Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV, back again with another video just before leaving Barcelona to give you guys a recap of all the latest devices released from Huawei during the Huawei Consumer Business Product Strategy Virtual Launch. So keep watching. Now just in case you guys haven't watched my unboxing and my first impressions video of the Huawei Mate XS, I'll leave a link down below. So other than the amazing foldable phones, let's check out the other devices released from them. Firstly, let's look at the Huawei MatePad Pro 5G. Now the screen is the world's first full view display and the highest screen to body ratio tablet which has a 90% screen to body ratio with a 10.8 inch screen and a 2K resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels. And it even has a hole punch camera in front which is also the first to introduce in a tablet form with an 8 megapixel in front and a 13 megapixel at the back. Now the device comes with a thin and ultra portable design at only 7.2mm thickness. Now like the MediaPad M6, they did not compromise on the sound quality where there is a quad speakers and quad channels that promises to give an immersive sound experience. Now this tablet is also the first to ever introduce the wireless charging on a tablet form which is up to 27 watts and there's also a 40 watts wired supercharge as well. And what's cool is there's also the reverse wireless charging capabilities too. Now the app multiplier is also available on the tablet as well, very close to the experience of the Huawei Mate XS where you can display two windows on one app and so does the multi-screen collaboration as well. Then the smart keyboard comes with either a 60 or 70 degree support with a 1.3mm long key travel which is also compatible for wireless charging for the back and also automatically pairs with the tablet when the smart keyboard is placed. And also introduced is an improved M pencil where it has 4098 levels of pressure sensitivity and you can tilt for shading with an error-free palm rejection and the M pencil charges wirelessly as soon as you place a pencil magnetically on the tablet. Now if you guys would like to know the price listing, I will put it at the description below but the prices are in Euro at this moment so keep that in mind and is available from April this year onwards. Next is the release of the Huawei MateBook X Pro. Now in terms of the build quality, it is definitely feeling premium with the metal unibody design and it felt very light and good in hands. Now the screen is a 13.9 inch touchscreen with also a 2K resolution display but with a higher 3000 by 2000 resolution which has a 100% sRGB color gamut so it is perfect for photography editing or video color grading. Now it comes with the Intel i7 10 gen processor which includes a 4.9 GHz with all the important features included like the Huawei Share and the multi-screen collaboration as well. And once again, I'll put the entire pricing in Euro at the description below. Then Huawei also featured the MateBook D15 and D14 series laptop with both having a full view display of 87% screen to body ratio for the 15 inch and 84% for the 14 inch. Now in terms of what's inside of these laptops, it has up to a 10th generation Intel Core i7, up to an AMD Ryzen 7 Vega 10 graphics and also the Shark's Fin Fan 2.0 with a higher amount of blades and airflow as well. Now there is an integrated fingerprint sensor on the power button and also the recess camera for better privacy and security and plenty of ports available for the laptop as well where it is available in space grey and mystic silver. And finally Huawei also released two internet Wi-Fi routers where firstly it was the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 that is the world's first Wi-Fi 6 plus router with up to 2400 Mbps at 5 GHz connection and 600 Mbps at 2.4 GHz signals. It has a quad-core processor for no compromise on the router's performance and also the Huawei Share connectivity which allows you to just tap your other Huawei devices to be able to connect to the router. Then there's also the released Huawei 5G CPE Pro 2 which is the world's fastest CPE which is also known as the customer premise equipment in case you guys do not know where it has the same performance on the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz signal like the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 up to a massive 3.6 Gbps of download speed and up to 11 5G bands equipped in it too. Then lastly, there's also a very interesting portable pocket 5G mobile Wi-Fi device which is the Huawei 5G mobile Wi-Fi Pro which is equipped with the Balong 5000 chipset and a massive 8000mAh of battery with an option of a 40W supercharge and also reverse wired and wireless charging as well. 
So there you have it guys, these are all the devices released from Huawei here in Barcelona and with this do let me know which one of these devices that you would like for me to get my hands on to dive deeper into and I'll do a review based on what exactly that you like. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next